All right, welcome back to SOS. I'm Steph Sergeant Badass. Sippy Cat. And today I've, I've called Sippy into this one because I have no idea what I'm doing. It's okay. <laughs> medical kits. All right. Uh, this is a medical kit that I found on Amazon, and I'm going to be using this for the Bug Out Bikes, the series. And the series is in the playlist if you want to catch up. She's going to cover the medical kit, and we're going to add some stuff to it. Oh, yeah. And the links to all of it will be in the drop down. I promise this time all of the links will be there okay Better. pull you over all right this is a first aid only kit and the kit includes all sorts of little knickknacks and doodads that are easier just to buy a kit so that you've already got them it's kind of why i went with it and i did this without sippy cups permission and it got here and she i don't think was totally disappointed but it'll be good for you to go through it. So let's do this. Well, it has a lot of quantity. So that was cool with this thing that I like. So it turned my frown upside down. <laughs> All right. All right. So what we got? Let's see what we got, y'all. All right. A lot of bandages, a lot of antiseptic towelettes. Emergency first aid guide, bathroom reading, it's always good because you ain't going to be reading this while trying to figure out how to stop bleeding. Um, okay, uh, so, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, first aid essentials is what it, I, I need to tell you. Oh. But, there you go. Okay. 299 piece set. There we go. That's a lot. So, there we go. We got our antiseptic pellets. We'll just start to the right. Burn gel, because this looks like it's kind of like almost a little minor, minor trauma on this side. Um, so, let's see, we've got one it's, of those. It's good there's the, the little stuff, so I don't have to get big containers of everything. Burn cream again. Burn cream. Uh, neomycin antibiotic ointment, you know, just for superficial... Um, abrasions or well not really abrasions but i guess uh scrapes it's good to put on that two three four so you get quite a few of those and then your typical alcohol, alcohol pads. pads more of the neomycin what is that a next temp this is a temperature that you put on your head and it actually will tell you the degree these are actually kind of cool so I cannot remember exactly so if you want to you can look it up on another video but um, I have seen this done in the ERs so um, let's just see this real quick it says oral you okay so you can place this deep in the armpit Close the arm and keep in place for at least three minutes. So actually, you can put this in the back of the mouth. That's interesting because the ones I've seen, they put um, across the forehead across the or forehead. On the temple. Yeah. So this is a little thermometer. That's pretty cool. That's I've never pretty seen rad. that before. It kind yeah. of threw me off. This is the first time I've actually gone detail with this kit. Huh. Yeah, this is the first time unpackaging the kit. So. Um, is that a blank? That was that one of the blankets. Yep. Yeah. Just to maintain body heat, especially if you got a. It's an emergency blanket. Going into shock. Uh, well, let's go on this side. Yeah. Look at the tiny little roll of gauze. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's good for your little fingers or your hand. Got there. Gotta have gloves. Is it nitro gloves? Of course. Cool. And I don't know what size these are, but Super I'm sure two pair. Yeah. Probably like two pair of those. Got to add some more to that. Mole then, skin. Yeah, mole skin. Tiny little shears. Aren't those cute? Cute little guys. Just yeah. leave them in the package. Well, I was going to try and cut some. No. See how sharp <laughs> they are. No, that's just. But they, they <laughs> would cut through some thin fabric. It would do the job. That's cool. You got little tweezers. Well, that's cool. Ooh, little swabs. Swabs are cool. It's good to it's good to put the ointment on the swab and then put it on there. Don't yeah. go sticking it on your finger and <laughs> smearing it all over. Try to use the swabs. It's a little bit more gentler and less contamination. 
and then a tiny little thin roll of tape. It works. It's paper yeah, tape. How many people do you see running to the bathroom to go get a get a Q-tip for their ear? <laughs> There you go. Hey, or it's good to remove something out of your eyeball. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's just paper tape. It's not very sticky, but it's good for people. Who... It should stay all right in that container because that seems all right. Yeah, it's just good for people who have really either sensitive skin or very um, delicate, fragile skin. Like your elderly. Little babies. Right, you got a tongue babies. depressor, which is That's good. Cool. It helps if, uh, you know, if you need to stick it down on someone's tongue, see if there's anything in the back of their throat. Or, or if they're having a seizure. Uh, no. <laughs> That's an old wives tale. You don't do that. Um, or if you have like a, a hook inside from like a, a bee sting or whatever, you just scrape it off. Don't use a tweezer for that. Use this. All right. Or like we said, risk went. There you go. Gotta have an instant cold pack. It's pretty cool. That's actually in there. Yeah, it's pretty small. Everything in here is nice and compact. So yeah, uh, this is a very nice little setup. Another little thing to roll, roll of tape. That's good. And then you know you just got all your different types of medicine: your ibuprofen, ibuprofen. non-aspirin, non-aspirin, ibuprofen, and your aspirin. aspirin. Cool. Um, ibuprofen in case someone's... Yeah, you got a whole variety. Having a heart attack and you, they don't have any nitro pills guy. on them. Not it's aspirin not again. Aspirin. This is for your eye. Eye patch. Hmm. Oral eye pad. All they're missing next is the sterile foam cup. Anything else in there? On that side? Nope, that's it. I guess it's time to flip it. Alright. See what else we got. Uh, this seems just to be mostly just what bandages. That, like sting stuff, probably. You always get sting stuff with these. Yeah, sting. Yeah, sting. We call that sting relief Sting pads. relief pads. Let's see, just different types of bandages. And I think just two by two by fours, three by threes. Just gauze dressing pads. Some nice band-aids. Those are huge. Yeah, two by two. Yeah, you got a couple of big ones. The nice Those are square. great for the knee. Yeah. The boo boo bear always scratches up the knee. That kid. I'm so, I start carrying my suit. So one side's like a bandage side, huh? Yeah, this is all just like band aids. You got just your uh, tiny little, a lot of tiny little Tiny little bandages. Nicks and cuts. Um, of course, they didn't forget about your butterfly closures. Help uh, bring that that cut op the open cut together, and then just a uh, fingertip pack. Uh, it's like that butterfly pattern. Those are really good for toes and stuff. A little bit more awkward angles, and and the knuckles. So there we go. So that's for the bandages right there, and then they have a couple of trauma pads. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, it's got your blue line on on it, so you'll know if uh, the wound is seeping, this will disappear, and you'll know it's saturated and um, they're having a lot of fluid loss. Uh, let's see what else we got. Just a different size sterile gauze pad. Pretty good sized gauze pads in there. Mm-hmm. That's that is a lot of band-aids. More band-aids. That is insanity. I mean, you could cover someone's whole body in that number of band-aids. They didn't go chintzy with the band-aids, which is yeah. awesome. The kit didn't cost very much. And like I said, I'll put the link to that. So they have the fabric bandage, and then these green ones are the adhesive, so they're of course you know they stick a little bit more. Uh, potently on the skin than the fabric and to be honest with you this would probably be a good kit for someone's little bug outs a car i'm surprised I it mean, actually has a little trauma side to it because uh there is not a lot of first aid kits that mm -mm. add the trauma side to it it's only lacking a few items and that's what we want to add to this kit today 
Um, I'll, uh, I know you're putting that side back together, but you want to, do you want to say something about that or, and add I, that to, think, we're going to add that to the kit as well for I sterile. Just, I just have, um, I got a whole crap ton of IV flushes on eBay for eight bucks. I think I got like 30, 30 flushes. So I just like to add these if I got to flush something either out of somebody's eye or if I just kind of want to clean the wound out a little bit. Um, so I can get a better look. And you've already got a syringe there and a way to shoot it out. So that's just why for me, I, I just would add this. It's so we usually do the flushes, like the little bottles, like the, yeah, the squirt ones, yeah, the squirt ones, but these give you a better projection and it fits in the kit. Mm -hmm. We were already testing it out to see if it would fit. So it's just, you know, these are to each their own. Everybody has their own style, own flair. So there's um, that. There's that. And um, for my husband who gets hungry, I Stop got it. a box of crayons to eat to munch on. You and the Marine Corps jokes. All right. Quick uh, sell-offs. Yep. Uh, there's a whole pack of five. And this was Super El Cheapo. Uh, you can pick that up. I'll have a link to that as well. And... I okay look look there's this type of tourniquet you know that's you could add that if you wanted to I thought oh, about it I, I, I thought about adding that this is your military IFAC version like that okay you could also use an Israeli bandage you could use an Israeli bandage if you wanted to uh, I do not ever recommend anyone on this planet using this as a tourniquet mm -mm. you could call someone a limb yeah people talk about this is the coolest thing ever absolutely mm -mm. not this Look is at how small the width is i had one of these, these one of these was sent to me and uh since i got it i had to share right now that this is a no-go don't don't ever buy one of these yeah, it embeds into your flesh, and your flesh will start covering over it, and you can't get to the tourniquet. To make the kit seem a little bit easier to put together, I'm picking the SWAT T. And I'll have this one in there as well. That's pretty compact. It's really thin. It's really compact. Um, it has, you basically just drop the red dot, pull, stretch, wrap it around fits to any part of their body just about and the way it goes on it's so neat and everything but the cool part is is um, well, the downside okay when you wrap it and pull it and, you know after you get it stretched around you got to make sure um, you secure it uh, good because it can uh, loosen, up. Un loosen up and unravel so it's all about the securing part just make sure you get it secured so but it'll fit in one of these little slots, nice and neat. So I figured that'd be a good option for this. But we've got this, this, and I thought about adding <clears throat> something for um, that purpose there. Yep, second chest wound. Yeah, if you need, if you need this, it fits right in there. So you've already got it. It's not a big deal. Uh, you were talking about adding a. Uh, one of these guys? Ace wrap, just, uh, you know, you can, uh, like we are talking in a podcast. And a, and a mouth guard. Let me finish. Mouth guard. You get too excited. Uh-huh. So, we were talking in a po uh, podcast earlier about how trauma to the, to the chest and broken bones. And you can definitely do that when you hit the handlebars or, who knows, just hit a pole or something. And... You're going to need something to secure it. Uh, like I said, you have to get some type of uh, soft, bulky item. You can take someone's shirt off and kind of bunch it up and just put it under where their diaphragm is. And you'd have to wrap this tightly around them to stabilize their, their ribs. So. Do you think about adding a couple more of these? Yeah. And these we purchased at Walmart. But... And triangular bandage. That's always good to have. So... These are the extra items I'm adding to the kit. Uh, you got a little bit of trauma. Uh, you got plenty of boo-boo. And uh, 
your anything from cold packs to I mean you just about covered almost everything so uh, someone as I'm someone's watching right now and they've already picked something that we've missed they've already what are you gonna do about this uh, you need Vaseline for that or you need <laughs> you know what I mean there's always something that we've probably missed one item so but uh, that's what we're going with we're gonna mm -hmm. throw all this stuff in there and we'll be done with this kit all right and done that's what it looks like the only thing I took out because it had this monster stack of these towelettes it had like a whole bunch of these I'm taking out two strips of them just to fill up the void for all the no, no, not, not crayons not doing crayons no, no crayons you are obsessed with crayons all right so I'm gonna try and close it up now that's everything if uh, sippy cup doesn't mind letting me finish up we're just a big kid all right I think you need a sit on it I hope not <laughs> I hope I don't have to sit on this thing can't be that bad right you gotta get it on to the to the carry I really bag. wanted to be able to use the whole kit and then just do some add-ons we'll right? see the quality of the zipper that's pretty good quality pretty good quality zipper hasn't broken yet that's nice that's a nice little here pull the camera up there you go that's it it's all in there this this thing here okay. it's like the ultimate little first aid kit it's like an IFAC if you just say it's like molly gear right here <laughs> big mm -hmm. blue <laughs> all right that's it if you're watching SOS what's that sound awesome, badass sippy cup and hope you enjoyed it God bless you guys. Take it easy. Crayons. <laughs> I just told you not to say crayons again. Take it easy.